Hey guys, on today's video, I'm taking a look at an iPad OS 17 or iOS 17. Anyways, if you go into Apple.com in this website, you guys will be able to see the list of iPads that are compatible at the moment with the latest update, which is down here below. So here we go, iPad OS 17. So if your iPad is not on this list, it means it's not compatible. You will not be able to install the latest iPad OS 17 onto it. So does that mean you cannot install on your iPad mini? Yes, it does. But if you have the fourth generation, you won't. You need the fifth generation and up. So that's for iPad mini. iPad's also compatible. iPad Air's compatible. iPad Pro's compatible. There's a few iPad Pro's compatible as well. So let me just read this out loud. So you have an iPad mini fifth generation and later, it's compatible. If you have an iPad sixth generation and later, also compatible. iPad Air third generation and up will be compatible. iPad Pro, the 11 inch first generation and later, also compatible, iPad Pro 10.5 inch, also compatible, and iPad Pro 12.9 inch, second generation and later will be compatible. So for example, if you have an iPad Pro first generation, the 12.9 inch, I'm sorry, you're stuck. You will not be able to install the latest. However, don't worry about it. Whichever iOS you're at, it's fine. That's what's compatible with your hardware. Your hardware will not be able to handle the latest update and that's why they're just not compatible. Keep in mind that you're not missing out on much. This update I would say would be one of the smallest ones in when you're looking at changes and it's not making your iPads faster, it's not doing anything big to your iPad, it's not adding that much more to it as well. It's adding a few things but they're just very very small things. And yes I know some of you are going to be mad at this video because you're looking at a way to update your iPad. However, this video will save you a lot of time and grief because you're gonna be finding a lot of scams online. Plus, people may be driving you into jailbreaking, which jailbreaking is great, don't get me wrong. Jailbreaking, I used to do that all the time. However, that will still not get the latest update on your iPad. So for those of you looking for a way to do this, I would say just don't waste your time. Don't worry, this has happened year after year iPads do get left behind and everybody looks for a way to update them. And you just can't because the hardware from the iPad itself will not be able to handle the software or some of the new features on the latest update. So trust me, don't fall for any scams online that you guys see. And if you want to jailbreak, go ahead and do it, but that's still not going to get you the latest update on your iPad. And for most of you, once you research enough, that's going to be your only conclusion when it comes to updating to the latest iPad OS. So hopefully with this video, I'm saving you a lot of time going straight to the answer. And that's it. I do have a video that shows you how to update if your iPad's compatible, which if you're having difficulties, you can always use your computer to do it. But other than that, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.